is the last time we're gonna be on the chapter four map most likely because next season is going back to chapter one OG Fortnite so I'm in creative this time because I think they got rid of Battle Lab that's why I usually do this type of video but it's kind of annoying also another change I'm not gonna be going over every old POI because in my opinion I didn't don't care about really Fortnite and the POIs anymore but you know we're gonna be going over sections and I'll explain what I mean in a little bit. So I'm going to be including the all the strongholds where you can get loot. So these three places. And I'm going to be using this one as a prime example. Because this is actually the main place where you fight the main boss. And I like these places. They're really fun. Because once you get the loot, you know, granted it's RNG to get the, I guess the, I think the, the exotic MK47 I think it is. That's the best gun in the game. But once you go down here, you just go through here. And it is a cool thing. I mean, this one's pretty cool. But, I mean, I think this one's the easiest to go to, or maybe that one. I think this one's the, I don't know, one of the easiest to go to, but, you know, I like it, but it is annoying because there's so many people here. I wish that uh, they didn't make it a central place to go, but, oh, well, cause I really like this place. Next up is the jungle, just the entirety of the jungle. All the jungle is very dense, and it's kind of annoying to get through, even in build mode, which is kind of surprising, but... It's, it's kind of annoying because there's all these plants and mud and it's just, I, I mean, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Every time I go to the jungle, it's just, you know, just a trek to go through, but I like it, but, you know, I say that very lightly because I don't really like traveling through the jungle because it's way too dense. The, especially the tree, I don't like the trees. The trees are annoying because if you fall off, you die, and it's like someone up here and you have to fight them and you can't break the tree, you have to go up very slowly. And you have these launch pads that sometimes work and sometimes don't and it only goes one way you can't go another way it's just really weird mega city is up next and oh, i guess you can say the entire the section of like the japanese anime place steamy springs you know naughty nest this entire thing but uh, mega city is the main place because that's like where everyone goes this is, is the tilted towers of you know of the, the seat of the season i guess and uh i used to go here when it was new not anymore and that is loud um i used to go here when it was new not anymore because uh it became irrelevant you know nothing really here to do other unless it's the circles the zones coming here but i don't usually land here I usually land in naughty nets or you know that place because that's no one really lands there the winter area is up next this thing has been here i think for the entirety of chapter four I like the winter area. It's really cool, especially when you're wearing a, like a winter themed skin. It's so cool. And the way they've done it is great. The ice, introducing ice is a great mechanic. You know, it is annoying, but sliding is pretty cool with it. But I like going to the winter area. I know a lot of people don't like it. I don't think they do. The wind sings whatever that's not like glides in the air. I don't care. I don't care about that. There we go. Oh my god. I sort of don't land here real I mean, sometimes. But usually I land at Slappy Shores and maybe venture, venture out to the winter area because, you know, like being out in the winter, this winter area isn't the best. I remember I actually went to this house over here a lot back in early chapter 4, season 1 for some reason. I don't know. I like it. Oh, why, why did I feel the ice effect? Um, I guess I can continue doing the separate POIs because Slappy Shores isn't really part of anything really. It's I think it's been here for the entirety of chapter 4. I like Slappy Shores a lot. I'm going here more recently because I just like the uh, capture point here. Also, I like the full shield thing here, which just gives you full shield immediately, which I find really useful. And uh, this has been the place to go to get like vehicles and like do like the uh, more, I guess, normal challenge, like getting eliminations and getting vehicles and stuff like that. You know, the candy thing was here. And uh, this place was really useful for me because that's what I did. You know, it was the place. I mean, people did land here. Not because there's a secret, like, like base over here that you can, like, get loot from. No, it was because most people land here, which I appreciate. So, I like Slappy Shores. I'm going to miss it. I also got the slap effect, which uh, I don't know if it's going to be in OG Chapter 1, but that's a great addition to the game. Frenzy Feels is up next, and I'm categorizing it by itself because, uh, I don't like this barn. Every time I go here, you know, in this season, chapter four, season four, there's just like people guarding this place. I don't know why. Maybe because there's three, there was three NPCs here. So everyone like landed here and like guarded this goddamn barn with their life. And it was very annoying. I kept dying here. 
to avoid this place at all costs. Every time I come here, it's just a death trap. Screw this place. I don't know why everyone lands here. It's, 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 there's nothing here. It's just a blank farmland, but it's just death zone. It wasn't like this beforehand in prior season. I like coming here, but I don't like this place this season. It's just not good to me. Shattered Slabs is nostalgic because this is like uh, the other place I went to during like early chapter 4 season 1 is was the new place with the Kinect Ore which did absolutely nothing after the first season which I find hilarious. Like this does nothing now and probably will never be in the Fortnite Island ever again. Which is hilarious, this useless rock. I remember there was a, a vault thing here, yeah there was. I remember going here a lot, it was pretty fun to be down here. And I like this place. I have a lot of good memories here. I don't know why. It's just a place I went to to do a lot of challenges as well. Last up is Breakwater Bay. Um, like, like, uh, you know, Shadow Slabs and Slappy Shores. I like Breakwater Bay. I do land here a lot. Uh, more recently. Because it's far away from everyone else. You can get your loot. Also, there's a, there's a capture point here, you can get it, you can see where, where, whoever a player lands here, I mean, if they drop late, you can find all the chests then, and you can get stacked up really quickly. Not stacked up if you were to go to the retreats, because there is one very close by, but, you know, if you, you won't get that stacked, but you'll get stacked enough to not die immediately. You won't get, like, insta-killed right off the bat, so. Like I said, I like land here for that reason alone, if I want to, like, do, like, a survival bad thing or just last a long time I go here because no one lands here overall chapter 4 was very fun for me I know a lot of people don't like this chapter but I think it's the best chapter in Fortnite period better than chapter 1 because this is how fun it was like I really had fun it really re revitalized my enjoyment of this game because chapter 3 was pretty bad for me I did not like chapter 3 I mean overall I just did not like it and it really killed the fun for me, but chapter 4, I don't know what they did, but they made it fun. They got fun items like the Shockwave Hammer, the Kinetic Blade, you know, they had those items, the Rocket Ram, and they just made it, the game, fun. But that's going to be it for me. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe, I'm going to go now, so goodbye everyone.